Hey guys, so I know you don't know me, but I am not new to YouTube. Um, I had another channel, but um, I accidentally deleted it. So, I have to start over. And I think that I'm just going to continue from where I left off there. So, yeah, I was supposed to make a December Favorites video today. But since it's deleted, I have to do it on this channel. So... Yeah, and sorry I'm just wearing a t-shirt. Wasn't really feeling like getting dressed up, you know? So, here's my December favorites. Um, okay, so I have, and by the way, I have to use my phone right now because my camera is broken. But it's getting fixed, so I will have better quality videos soon. Um, this is, anyway, so, okay, December favorites. So I have this, um, gold bag pouch thingy. Okay, I couldn't think of the words. And in it are just some of my December favorites. I'm taking them out right now. Sorry. Okay. So first, I don't have anything fancy. Okay. I have this Lip Delicious lip gloss, it looks like this, from Bath and Body Works. And it is in Berry Bellini. And usually I do not like lip glosses. I hate lip glosses because they're, I don't know, I just don't like the way it feels. But I do really, really like this one. And it smells really good. Like, raspberries and stuff. Um, so, this one, I don't know if you can tell with this camera. Probably not. But there are sparkles in it. And it makes your lips sparkle. And it tints your lips a little bit, but not too much. So, I don't think you can tell, but my lips are sparkling. <laughs> and then, underneath that, I have this Nivea, or Nivea, or however you're supposed to say it. Um, chapstick. It's mint and minerals. And it looks like this. Um, uh, yeah. So I really like this chapstick. Um, it really moisturizes your lips and keeps them from getting chapped and gross. So, I've been using these together since I got them a couple weeks ago. And the next one is this little hand sanitizer that I also got from Bath and Body Works when I picked this up and some other stuff. But um, it's Winter Spice. Yeah, Winter Spice and Vanilla. It looks like that. Uh, it's brown and it smells really good. Like vanilla cookies or frosting or whatever and yeah I just really I'm kind of like a germaphobe um and I I don't know hand sanitizers I don't really like any of the smells of them they're all really like strong and like perfumey but this one I really like like, if you like that Vanilla Bean Noel stuff, then you'll probably like this, because it smells kind of like it, but it also smells like vanilla frosting, so, I don't know, but, yeah. And, the next thing I have is a pack of gum. <laughs> um, this whole month, I have been, I'm like a gum addict. I'm always chewing gum, and I always have to have a pack of gum. And I have recently only been getting this kind by Orbit. It's like the winter mint. Yeah, winter mint kind. Um, from Orbit. It's so good. Anyways, but yeah, this is the only kind I've been getting recently. And I really like it. A lot. Okay, that's it out of this. The next 
three, two things were bigger, so I couldn't fit them in there. Okay, so in the winter time, I get really, really chapped or chapped dry hands, um, because I don't know. I'm always washing my hands and stuff, and you know it's cold in the winter, and it just dries your hands up. And I really do not like lotion at all because I hate the way it makes my hands feel like, I don't know, they're just all like wet and sticky and gross. I don't know. But uh, my mom got this lotion for me and it's called the Naked Bee Moisturizing Hand and Body Lotion. And it looks like this. I've never heard of this brand of lotion before or seen it or anything but she got it for me and I've really been liking it I use it every day um yeah the flavor of the scent or whatever is orange blossom honey and yeah it looks like that it's just a really little container um I'll compare it to this mirror like, well, that's not a very good comparison. Never mind, forget that. <laughs> I'll cut that part out. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not, it's a good size. It's a good size. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, I don't, I don't know how to describe the smell. Uh, it says orange blossom honey, but that doesn't really tell you what it smells like. I don't know. There's definitely the orange smell in there, but other than that, there, there's something else in there, but I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. But anyways, yes, I've been loving this a lot. Okay, moving on. Uh, last thing is this <clears throat> bedhead texture paste. Looks like that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, yeah, it's just this little container of of goo. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like, basically. Uh, it smells so good. Um, I know this is for people with, like, sh really short hair so that they can, like, spike it up or style it or whatever. But, I found this to be useful with flyaways. Yes, when you're doing your hair and you have pieces that are just sticking up or they won't, go down or it's like shorter hair so if you if you're like braiding it or whatever and it sticks out because it's shorter all you have to do is get some of this like a little dab of it and just rub it on there and it sticks in place I know you can use hairspray and stuff but I don't like hairspray at all because it makes your hair harder and I don't like the smell of hairspray but this smells so good. <sighs> um, and I'm almost out. I have this blue one too. Of the same stuff. This one has more in it. But, uh, yeah. It's also really fun to play with. But, <laughs> yeah, I just use this for like flyaways and shorter pieces of hair instead of hairspray. So, yeah. Be creative, guys. Anyways, that's all that I have, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, um, videos, I don't know how many, um, I don't know, I usually just make them when I have something to do, um, like an idea of a video to make, usually like twice a week, maybe three times a week, but yeah. So I will see you guys in my next video, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, bye!